400 watt eBay wind turbine number two. All right, this is the second 400 watt turbine that I've picked up, and it is the second turbine in this style that I've picked up. This is in the same style as the 500 watt turbine that I don't like very much. We're gonna see if this one's made any different, and if uh, if it does a better job of doing its job. Uh, just right off the bat, this is my favorite thing about this turbine. These things are, you know, the bearing, it's, it's fit up here. It's pretty important and it doesn't fit very well. But, I mean, there's like, you can feel the slack there. So that all by itself, not a very good sign. Uh, in the box, you get this turbine, which looks just like the, the other 500 watt turbine that I've got. The finish is actually pretty decent. Uh, you can tell that they didn't care a whole lot about, you know, the casting quality. There's some texture to it that uh, they could have avoided, but yeah, it's a you know, hundred dollar turbine. What else you get in the box? You get these three blades, which are, I mean, they're, they're airfoils. Um, they're a little shorter than uh, similar blades I've, I've come up with. Like the blades that came with the 500, for example, are about an inch longer, about 25 millimeter or so. Uh, something else is that the, the blades I got with the 500 are super flimsy and thin. These ones are quite a bit thicker. They are more rigid. Uh, they're, made, they're made better. Uh, the, the leading edge, the airfoil is, is thicker. Uh, the, the, the edges, the corners, they're not as sharp. The trailing edge is not as sharp. Uh, there is some rough texture to it. They didn't try very hard with the finishing, but there again, cheap turbine. Now, all three blades, I did weigh them all. They all are within about 5% of one another. They are very uniform, so I mean, the blades are pretty good. I like the blades. I like the blades better than the ones I've gotten previously. Comes with this nose cone, which is not the least bit interesting at all whatsoever. Comes with a little baggie of hardware, same thing, not it comes with this rectifier, uh, which is called a wind controller on the label, but it controls nothing. It is a straight rectifier. Uh, it has no braking voltage. It has no recovery voltage. We don't even want that. Uh, the hub, I like the hub on this one. The hub that came with the 500, which, you know, getting very similar turbine. Uh, lots of casting slag, the finish was rough, it had like grit and, and stuff glued down with the paint. This one uh, does not. Some of the edges are pretty sharp. There are some, uh, you know, a little, a little bit of casting slag on it, but nowhere near as much. The finish looks nice. Uh, it, is, it is made out of cast aluminum, it's very light. Uh, I just, I like this one better. Uh, one thing to point out with this turbine, it did not come with a nut. So I got to figure that out. This one comes with one of these and I love it when my turbines come with these things because while it is not difficult or impossible to figure out a way to uh, get a flange to mount these things, if you buy a flange, they are kind of pricey. And if you, you know, you improvise, you go and you buy one of those pipe flanges. Uh, I don't know. I just think it looks sloppy. It doesn't, uh, I just don't think it's, I just like this better. Um, I can't say that about this flange, it was obviously very quickly cut and, you know, the edges are super sharp. It's not going to be a problem once it's in the air, it's just something worth keeping in mind. Alright, now, just for dimensions. This turbine comes with blades that are roughly 23 and 3 quarter inches long. It's going to be 
just slightly under 48 inches of swept area. <laughs> Turbine itself is roughly with the hub on it, all the way to the front of the bolts there. You know, we're looking at 24 inches. So, it's not a very large turbine. Uh, I've already measured the wires coming out of the slip ring, and this is, you know, what I want to know what wire sizing is supposed to be in, in China. Uh, these are a little bit bigger than the ones that I got in the uh, in the 500. Let's actually let's trim it off and measure it again. So we got a nice clean section of wire, and this is 80 thousandths. 100 thousandths is right around 10 gauge. Uh, it's not really, it's, it's a little bit bigger than 12, but it's not quite 10. Um, okay, now let's pop this thing apart. That's not the right tool. Wasn't that exciting? Okay, now. They've usually got the, the cage for the stator sandwiches in the, to the, the, the nose a little bit and into the body a little bit. So it takes a little bit of prying to get the thing to come loose. That. You get a little bit of a leverage down there on the bottom. And now let's talk about all of this. This thing, man. That's uh that's pretty crummy. Okay, now right off the bat, I like the wire that's in this thing a lot better. This is out of all the Chinese turbines that I've done, and I'll try to get some close-up still shots of this. These have this has the neatest coils. Alright. Now talking about the way this assembles, this is the same with every one of these turbines that I've taken apart. The way this all goes together is a clamshell, that, or kind of a clamshell, I guess. And the only seal that it has is this O-ring. Uh, and the O-ring sits directly on the bolt, so you can actually see the, the four corners where it's been sitting on the bolts. Now my issue with this O-ring, there's no groove, there's no body for it to sit in. Uh, I don't think that this will actually seal anything. So, those are my complaints so far. Bearing is not very good. Or, I say the bearing might just be that this thing is undersized. And this O-ring bit, this is the same with all of them so far. This O-ring is an inadequate way to seal this up. Uh... But, I do like this stator a lot better. Now, the, the Chinese staters, they're never coated. There's no lacquer or anything over it. Uh, none of them ever are. Let's see if I can get that directly under there. 
You see a slip ring straight in the back. Slip ring's very generic. It is just a brass, I mean, a, just a, a, a steel tower with brass rings up at the top. And that's how, you know, it conducts its electricity. It's all brushed. Uh, let's measure, get a couple of spots on the wire. Thirty thousandths, thirty thousandths, thirty thousandths. Okay, so the stator wire is thirty thousandths. I will put somewhere up here what that is in a gauge. And it looks like it has three coils in a set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Three coils in a set, 12 sets. So 36 coils all together, which is real common. Uh, I think that the, they, they all have the same pattern. Uh, they're all made a little bit differently, but they all follow the same pattern. Uh, same thing with this rotor. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 36 coils, 12 poles. Uh, the magnets on this rotor are very small and not very strong. So they are 590 thousandths wide. They're just, in, just strong enough to be inconvenient. 700 thousandths long. One hundred thousandths thick, uh, so really small. And this is, uh, if I if I could remember correctly, the the magnets that were on the rotor in the five hundred were bigger. Uh, that five hundred is going to come down pretty soon. Uh, this one's probably going to go up in its place. I might see how this one runs with this rotor just to just to see and uh if i don't like the results i might swap that uh that bigger rotor in it might be making that up that other one might be uh might be smaller than i remember it being let's see what else we've already got a bench test link that will be below uh, and hopefully soon we will have this thing on a pole doing its bit. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, guys, if you find this content interesting, please hit the subscribe button. The more subscriptions, the more watches I get, the uh, sooner I'll be able to do bigger and more interesting things. So... Appreciate y'all's time. Have a wonderful day.